good evening friends welcome back to the second lecture series on commodity market so in the previous class we have stopped with commodity derivatives there are two important commodity derivatives number 1 commodities future contracts commodities option contracts so let's begin to understand what are these two important derivatives how these derivatives are important in commodity market the first important commodity derivative is commodity future contract a future contract is an agreement for buying or selling a commodity for a predetermined delivery price at a specific future time futures are standardized contracts that are traded on an organized future exchange exchanges that ensures performance of the contracts and thus remove the defaults of risk a future contract friends you need to understand very clearly the first important derivative is future contract it is an agreement between buyers and sellers to buy and sell a commodity for a predetermined delivery price at a specific future time the price is going to decide today but delivery of the goods will be taken place in the future times so these type of contracts which are being operated in an organized future ma futures exchanges futures market commodity market in order to eliminate the default of risks which are involved in buying and selling of commodities so let's take an example suppose a farmer is expecting a crop of wheat to be ready in 2 months time but he is worrying that the price of wheat may decline after two months in order to minimize risk he can enter to futures contract to sell his crop in two months time at a price decided today with the buyer so this way the farmer is able to hedge his risks which will be arising which will be arising in reducing the price of wheat in the future price in the future date so therefore he is entering into the contract with the buyer today itself and deciding the price today itself but crop crop will be ready after 2 months okay the delivery of the goods will be taken place after 2 months right any doubt okay let's move on to the next commodity options contract the commodity option holder has the right but not the obligation to buy or sell a specific quantity of a commodity at a specified price on or before a specified date which is mentioning in the option the seller of the option the seller of the option writes the option in favor of the buyer who buys a certain premium to the seller as a price for the options 
there are two types of commodity options we have one is call option another one is put option let's understand these two important types of options as i told you option is a contract under which commodity option holder has the right but not the obligation to buy or sell a specific quantity of a commodity at a specified price on or before a specified date that is future date so let's understand these two commodity options one is call option and put option call option gives the option holder a right to buy a commodity agreed price at an agreed price you understand call option gives the right to the holder option holder to buy a commodity at an agreed price while a put option gives the holder option holder the right to sell the commodity at an agreed price on or before this specified date it is known as expiry date so that will be mentioned in the option the option holder will exercise the option only if it is beneficial to him otherwise he will let the option lapse option is a contract you don't understand there are two types of options one is call option and put option when uh, the buyer has got the option to buy a commodity at an agreed price he has got the right to buy a commodity at a future at the predetermined price why put option gives the holder a right to sell the commodity at an agreed price on or before the expired date specific date on or before the date of expire is it clear let's take an example suppose a farmer buys a put option to sell 100 quintal of wheat at price of 20 dollar per quintal and pays a premium of 0.5 dollar per quintal or a total of 50 dollars if the price of wheat declines to 20 dollars okay from 25 to 20 dollar before the expiry the farmer will exercise his option to sell his wheat at the agreed price of dollar 25 per quintal because he has already has the right in the in the option in the put option in the put option the farmer has got the right not the obligation to sell his wheat at an agreed price at the future date in case in the future the price of wheat has reduced from 25 to 20 dollars now he is going to exercise his option to sell his commodity at a price decided earlier at 20 dollars only per quintal is it clear however if the market price of wheat increases to sell 30 dollar per quintal it would be advantages for the farmer to sell it directly in the open market at the spot price rather than exercise his option to sell his commodity at 25 dollar per quintal that means the put option will be put option will be implemented when the price reduces in case after he gets the crop suppose the price has increased from 25 to 30 dollars now he is not ready to sell at 25 dollar per quintal 
he is going to sell the commodities at thirty dollars. Thirty dollars directly in the open market and gets the profit. Okay, so then only he is exercising his option to sell his commodities at thirty dollars, not twenty-five dollars or thirty dollars in the open market. If the price increases. If the price reduces, he is going to exercise his option to sell his commodities at rupees twenty-five dollar, at twenty-five dollar, at rupees twenty-five dollar per quintal. When the price reduces only, he is going to exercise his option. Hello. Sorry for the interruption. <coughs> is it clear? When the price reduces, the farmer is going to exercise his option. When the price increases, he is going to lapse his option and sell the commodities at the open market. So let's understand the basic differences between forward contract. And future contracts. Basis for comparison meaning forward contract is an agreement between parties between parties that means buyer and seller to buy and sell the underlying asset at a specified date and agreed rate in future. So while futures contract in which the parties agree to exchange the asset for cash at a fixed price and at a future specified date it is known as future contract so there is one there is only one difference here it is for a contract is an agreement between the buyer and seller to buy and sell the commodities underlying assets at a specified date And agreed rate in future, but which is contract is all the same. So, this contract existed between two parties to buy and sell the assets for cash at the fixed price that is decided earlier. It's known as future contract. What is it? It is a retailer. It is a tailor-made contract. But futures contract is standardized contract traded on over the counter. That is, there is no secondary market. Okay, futures contract under which the goods are selling for cash in the commodity markets, organized commodity exchanges. But on the forward contract, as far as forward contract is con concerned. It's there is no secondary market is required. Settlement. Settlement will be taken place on the maturity date of the contract. But under the futures contract, settlement will be taken place on a daily basis. Risk is so high in the forward contract, but there is low risk. There is no risk. There is lower risk as compared to the forward contract in the futures. Contract because it can be taken place in an organized stock that is called uh, 
commodity exchanges. Default has their private agreements so that forward contracts in which there is chances of default both by the seller and dealer, seller and uh, buyer relatively risk is so high. Default rate is so high. Either the seller may reject or buyer may have the default so that the default rate is so high in the forward contract but as far as futures contract are concerned no such defaults are happening because it will be taken place in an organized commodity exchanges size of contract depends on the contract terms and conditions but the size is fixed in the futures contract collateral no collateral securities are required but here the buyer and seller who wants to participate in commodity exchanges there is an initial margin money they have to maintain in their account maturity as per the terms of the contract maturity will be happening but maturity will be decided earliest maturity will be decided at the time of contract under the features contract regulation it is self regulated forward contract self regulated but features contract in which exchange between the buyer and seller will be taken place in an organized stock markets uh, sorry uh, that is uh, commodity exchanges so therefore it has been controlled how stock exchange is being controlled by different authorities liquidity is low in case of forward contract but high liquidity is there in the futures contract so now let's go on to steps to trade in commodity market trading in commodity market commodities market in india in derivative segment how to trade in commodity futures in india while the setting up of nationwide multi commodity markets a new avenue has been thrown open for indian investors so these markets these exchanges have electronic trading and settlement systems making it easy to trade in commodity futures trading in commodity futures comprises of three simple steps to be followed one who wants to invest in commodity futures number one choosing a broker that is first important step step two depositing the margin suppose you want to purchase you are going to buy and sell the gold okay you are going to deposit some margin money third step access to information and a trading plan with the help of the broker all the above steps are common while investing in any of the commodity exchanges like mcx and ncdx so now let's understand these steps in detail step 1 as i told you in the stock market the the investors who are going to have who are going to choose a broker and at the same time the investors in the commodity market here also they are going to choose broker a broker and open trading account as per a stock market is concerned their investors open demat account with the broker okay as per as commodity market is concerned the investors are opening trading account the broker you choose should be a manner of the exchanges you wish to trade in other than this one should keep the following factors in mind while selecting a good broker competitive edge 
provided by the broker broker's knowledge about the commodity exchanges credibility of the broker experience of person who is involved as a broker brokering net worth of the broker quality of broker's trading platforms so these things must be kept in mind while choosing a broker by the investors the relationship between the broker and the client is long run thus there must be strong rapport and the mutual trust between the client and the broker further the client must communicate clearly to the broker his needs and objectives for trading in commodities whether they are for the purpose of hedging or investment purpose etc must be very clearly communicated with the broker further your objectives of entering the market provide you with a valuable parameter to judge whether a broker fits your needs in order to keep your investment decisions and objectives in which in check it's important to choose the right certified commodities broker it's important to learn about the process of depositing margin for commodity trading and why it's necessary to deposit margin with the broker how much margin has to be maintained what are the process involved in margin so all these things must be kept in mind while selecting the right kind of a broker for the investors step 2 depositing the margin to begin trading the investor needs to deposit a margin with his broker it's clear margin requirements are of two types the initial margin and the maintenance of margin these margin requirements vary across commodities and exchanges but typically the initial margin ranges from 5 to 10 percentage of the contract value take the example contract value is 5 crores 10 percentage of 5 crores amount has to be deposited has to be deposited as a margin with the broker so now what is maintenance margin maintenance margin is usually lower than the initial margin the investor's position is marked to market daily and any profit or loss is adjusted to his margin account the investors are going to invest on daily basis and profit and loss account will be adjusted with the amount that has been kept by the investor in his account as a margin okay the investor has the option to withdraw any extra funds from his margin account if his position generates a gain if if his position generates a gain or profit also if the account falls below the maintenance margin a margin call is generated from the broker and the investor needs to replenish his account to the initial level so this is what we call maintenance margin number 3 step 3 access to information and a trading plan as commodity futures are not long term investments their performance needs to be monitored the investor should have access to the prevailing prices on the exchanges as well as market information that can help to predict the price movements which will be happening in the future brokers provide research and analysis to their clients clients means investors other information sources or financial dailies 
specialized magazines are available on commodity exchanges and the internet with which we collect the information before investing further an investor requires a trading plan such a trading plan can be developed in consultation with the broker in any case the investor has to remember to ride his profits and cut his losses by using stop loss order to the broker no demat account is required here as i told you so it is opening a trading account trading account first step okay so these are the uh, basically three steps involved while investing in commodity market so now let's understand the reason why the investment is being taken place in the commodity exchanges let's say that you want to buy gold for trading because you believe that the price of gold will be rising there will be probably buy gold bars store them wait for and the price to go up and then sell them till you sell them you need to be store the gold what problems you come across here it might be risk involved whether the gold is pure storage problem security problem carry problem from one place to another place okay so these are the three risks involved in buying gold and for trading okay the solution here is to buy the gold in commodity exchanges with two things one is futures and options all these above problems will be solved once you select commodity exchanges to buy and sell the gold in order to make profit so now let's understand what are the advantages one has in commodity trading number 1 commodity trading in india offers many advantages compared to other methods of trading mostly investing in commodities provides benefits to investors at times of economic uncertainties you know what are economic uncertainties that is so now there is an economic uncertainty in the future diversification of the portfolio in which portfolio so one has to invest investment in commodities investment in uh, shares debentures bonds okay so this uh, is the one of the important benefit to have the diversification of their portfolios commodity trading helps the traders to diversify their portfolio by investing in commodities along with stocks bonds as i told you and other methods the trader is able to protect himself from the sudden fall in one of the asset classes either it may be gold or it may be bond but commodities react differently to the economic and uh, uh, geopolitical factors than stocks so investing in commodities helps to improve returns and reduce volatility fluctuations in the price price of commodities that will not happen in the commodity futures but that will be more in stock exchanges next hedging another important benefit commodities act as an effective hedge against the risks specifically at the times of inflation or recession if the price of the commodity is expected to go up the trader can buy the commodities now in the futures contract and hedge against the risks of high prices this is also useful for importers and exporters of goods and services goods 
production against inflation when the economy starts to go down inflation occurs prices of commodities go up at this condition the prices of stocks and bonds go down by investing in commodities can help the investors to benefit from the upswing and protect themselves from high commodity prices lower margin the margin amount required for commodity trading as i told you it's about 5 to 10 percentage of the contract value which is quite less as compared to other asset classes so therefore the trader can trade more with this less margin money higher opportunity for growth and return commodity trading in india is quite risky but if the risks are managed well and properly the investments are done right after proper research and analysis it can turn out to be very rewarding and profitable one also because of the uh, rapidly increasing demand for the commodities the commodities traders can grow well and make good money by investing in commodity exchanges next important advantage liquidity investment in commodities are highly liquid as compared to the investment in other assets classes like real estate the prices of real estate may go down or increase that's depend upon the underlying assets but the buying and selling is easy in the commodity exchange and quick so the position can be squared off and cashed as when you are in need of cash next commodity futures as an investment avenue commodity futures are globally recognized to be a part of every successful and diversified investment portfolio the fact that the returns from the most of the commodities in the last 53 years from 51 to 2006 have been higher than the global inflation rate establishes that investments in commodities are an effective hedge against the inflation so now now let's move on to why the investment is being taken place uh in commodity exchanges what is the position of the investors leverage commodity futures trading is done on margins the investor only deposits a fraction of the value of the future contract with the broker to cover the exchange specified margin requirements this gives the investors greater leverage and thus ability to generate higher returns by investing in commodities liquidity that we have learned diversification we have learned now let's move on to other important uh concept commodity market or commodity exchanges the market functions because of the different risks profiles of the market participants the fluctuations in commodity prices represents both risk and potential for profit the hedges transfer this risks by foregoing the associated profit potential now inflation hedge so these are the uh, what we call are the advantages one who has while investing in commodity exchanges is continuous inflation edge physical gold physical gold is a product by which retail and high net worth investors can make the investment positions in dematerialized physical gold using the futures contract in this product the investor can hold physical gold 
in a safe deposit vaults approved by the commodity exchanges which is reflected in the investors given account the main features of this physical gold is liquidity it can be converted into cash any time assurance of purity because there is a platform called commodity exchanges through which so we are going to have the trade transactions with commodity market so therefore the purity of the commodities will be assured safety that's very important now let's understand the different types of commodity exchanges which are being operated in our country a commodity a commodity exchange is an exchange where various commodities and derivatives products which are traded so these contract can include spot prices forwards futures options or futures etc so now let's understand the main commodity exchanges which have provided the platform for the investors number 1 an mce national multi commodity exchange established in the year 2002 headquarter is located at Ahmedabad the promoters of this market central warehousing corporation gujarat state agriculture marketing board gujarat agriculture industries corporation limited <coughs> national institute of agriculture marketing neptune overseas punjab national bank so these are the promoters for the establishment of commodity exchange like national multi commodity exchange what are the commodities which are traded in this platform castor seed rape seed mustard soybean sesam copra block paper gram gold aluminum copper lead all these the jute coffee rubber zinc nickel etc another important commodity exchange in india mcx multi commodity exchange of india limited established in the year now by 2003 mumbai is the headquarter so it holds 86% of the market share of commodity exchange in india the biggest it operates in more than 40 commodities it is the world's largest commodity exchange in silver and gold for the promoters national spot exchange limited <coughs> india energy exchange singapore mercantile exchange global board of trade abs forex national bulk handling corporation ticker plant limited so these are the promoters for the establishment of this mcx what are the commodities traded under this platform metal bullion bullion is uh, nothing but silver and gold fiber energy spices plantation pulses pulses petrochemicals cereals so these are the commodities which are being traded in m6 ncdex established in the year december 2003 headquarter is at mumbai icici bank lic nabard kendra bank punjab national bank krisil iffco goldman sachs intercontinental exchange renuka sugar jp capital so these are the promoters of this commodity exchange so nearly about 57 commodity commodities which are traded in this platform example cereals and pulses fibers oil and oil seeds spices plantation products gold silver steel copper crude oil 
bent toroidal polyvinyl chloride all these commodities which are being traded in this platform the fourth important commodity exchange in india indian commodity exchange is a screen based online derivatives exchange for commodities established in the year number 2009 headquartered at gurgaon promoters reliance exchange next limited as anchor investor in this platform for the establishment and has mmctc limited india bulls financial services limited indian potash limited kri bhco and idfc so these are the promoters of this market so the market that uh, the commodities which are being traded gold silver copper lead crude oil natural gas mustard all those things sherin index the bombay stock exchange and uh, takwa advisory and uh, sharia investment solutions have launched so this sharia index market established in december 2010 headquartered at gurgaon this is the first sharia index created in india utilizing the strict guidelines and uh, local expertise of a domestic sharia advisory board the index comprises the 50 largest and most liquid sharia compliance stacks with bsc funded sixth universal commodity exchange It is a national level electronic commodity exchange in India, established in the year 2013 April. Comex Technology, IDBI Bank, IFCO, NABAR, OREC. So these are the promoters. So there are about 11 commodities which are being traded in this platform: gold, silver, crude oil, chana, rubber, mustard, soybean, refined soybean, turmeric. all these 11 commodities which are being traded in this platform commodity trading platform there are five commodity trading platforms and tools used most widely in our country okay there are commodity trading platforms so we need to understand according to the ratings given uh, to the trading platforms and tools offered considering features fees and other features so there are five commodity trading platforms and tools are used number one the brokerage zeroda zero provides one of the most efficient and uh, modern commodity trading platform it's known as zeroda kite it is a simple yet innovative commodity trading platform which is suitable for modern time trading the platform is very easy to use and accessible and offers many innovative features so this platform is very carefully designed with the user interface that helps in buying selling analyzing and managing the portfolio alongside it also provides real time data regarding prices quotes ticks and orders through the data widgets widgets with absolute zero latency this is one of the most required features for an efficient commodity trading platform that is called broker learn about zeroda gold bond along with the detailed information kite also provides technical analysis tools like advanced forms of charts which are very powerful and customizable kite also offers online education to the traders through universities in spite of all the excellent features jareda charges low brokerage 
of 20 rupees or 0.01 percentage whichever is lawyer per executed trade on commodity traders on MCX check this zero zero the brokerage calculate for more information on charges which are being charged by this platform so thus by using kite the traders can access their entire portfolio manage it and make the investment after doing careful analysis of the brokers so this is a single very simple single platform is being provided before the investors angel broking angel commodities broking is a member of the mcx and ncdex and provides one of the most useful commodity trading platform for trading in all the commodities almost all the commodities the commodity trading account is free the brokerage is as low as 15 rupees per executed trade for orders less than 50 k value and rupees 30 otherwise check in the website of angel broking about the brokerage the platform provides excellent resources along with tips and recommendations to figure out the top commodities to be invested in there are multiple up to data in research reports on this platform will be available for the investors including fundamental reports technical reports special reports will be available so this commodity trading platform is one of the most recognized and awarded platform a unique feature is the highest levels of leverage of up to 40 times which offers the highest exposure to the traders the platform gives a personalized experience to the investors with the help of dedicated relationship managers dealers and is the one platform that offers the best of services and experience all the aspects of commodity trading can be handled on a single platform including creating and managing a portfolio receiving real time and updated market reports and quotes and the ability to trade online anytime from anywhere so this is all about angel broking Shirkon is full service stock broker that provides both equity and commodity trading services it offers a single trading platform for commodity along with all the other segments the specific commodity trading platform is called cam trade it helps the traders to trade in commodities on so these platforms like ncx and ncdx these two are the exchanges in which one wants to invest shakon is going to help them and provides complete services including searching the entire list of commodities along with the charts codes prices etc the charts are extensively available in the most advanced version and they can be studied and analyzed and used to open trade positions right then Comtrade keeps the trader updated with all the open positions in all the commodities like gold, silver, oil, etc. and also lets the trader spy off positions straight away. The charts are live with the line, candlestick, bar, and area position options with various time intervals ranging from one minute to yearly and also has tracker ball feature com trade also lets the trade receive the news about the commodities to help them make to make uh, make a profitable decision making 
who provides the resources for research and trading in the form of daily research reports including fundamentals technical support and long term reports will be provided for their clients furthermore shapecon offers a trading platform such as shapecon trade tiger which provides a decent trading experience as well another important uh, trading platform trade plus is one of the lowest brokerage commodity trading platform available in india it provides an infinite commodity trading plan at just rupees 99 per month for unlimited commodity trading on mcx the transaction charges for the lowest and the brokerage also gets refunded if the trader does not trade in any given month along with the low brokerage trade plus offers excellent features like brokerage calculator and margin calculator along with providing market information analysis and trading solutions to the investors there are multiple blogs and articles to assist the trader in making the correct decisions although it does not provide any research tips or recommendations to the broker investors there is a specific commodity trading platform infinite trader it's called nest and a specific technical analysis tool called infini power that helps the traders immensely in technical analysis before taking the decision to invest the fund transfers can also be completed safely securely through the platform called trade plus so these are the uh, different trading platforms so remaining trading platforms so that we could able to discuss in the next class thank you for listening have a good day thank you bye